Allow me to remind you of a classic sitcom from the 1970s. This is the story of two sisters, Jessica Tate and Mary Campbell. This sitcom was cutting edge for its time, and it managed to court controversy even before its debut in 1977. The Tates have more secrets than they do money. Its plot lines included alien abduction, demonic possession, extramarital affairs, kidnapping, murder, organized crime, and communist revolution. What more could you possibly ask from a comedy? I was still at school in the late 70s, and I don't remember all of those story threads clearly, but I do remember looking forward to watching this half hour of madness every week after the 10 o'clock news. Each episode would be a major talking point for me and my friends the day after. Soap ran for four seasons on US television, and that was a miracle in itself because the critics were out to get it from the start. The press of the day stirred the church and TV decency activists to protest about what they saw as its immoral and indecent storylines. Soon the host network itself was on the producer's back, with a seemingly endless raft of internal memos, including one which stated, Corinne's affair with a Jesuit priest, her subsequent pregnancy as a result, and later exorcism, are all unacceptable. Fortunately for us, the producer completely ignored that memo. The show borrowed its premise from the American daytime soaps of the day, including As the World Turns and Days of Our Lives. Are the days of our lives. Cleverly, though, it wasn't just a spoof of them. It also borrowed their dramatic license, which made soap something far more than just another sitcom. And I remember as many dramatic moments from the show as I do funny ones. You were my child. And you were no less my child than had you come from my womb. Soap's catalogue of memorable characters included the apparently dizzy but often perceptive Jessica Tate. It's worse for them because everybody wants their autographs. So far, nobody's asked me for mine. But if they do, I've decided to keep it really quite simple. Just something like, best wishes, Jessica Tate. Then there was the gender-confused Jodie Dallas, played by a young Billy Crystal. Bert Campbell was the blundering father of several sons in the show, including Chuck and Bob. You're calling my dead son an idiot? Oh, I'm sorry. A dead idiot. <laughs> and let's not forget the forgetful Major. Well, the help on the block started a pool. Good. In the summer, the troops can go swimming. <laughs> And we certainly can't forget the sarcastic and pleasingly disrespectful butler of the Tate household, Benson. You want meaning in there? <laughs> Robert Guillaume would soon get his own spin-off show, ultimately stepping up to a job as the state governor's head of household and then to a role as assistant governor. Soap was abruptly cancelled after four successful seasons. The reason for the cancellation has never been clear, but I do remember reading news reports at the time linking the cancellation to popular president Ronald Reagan's dislike of the show. Soap had a comparatively short four-season run compared to the other great American sitcoms in my DVD collection, but in that time it was nominated for 17 Emmy Awards and won four of them, 